Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how to set up and connect with Moodbase serial device in the Fuchs Ascara. And then after we have covered that how to create a tag for that Moodbase serial device in the Fuchs Ascara and how to visualize that tag in the dashboard. Okay. So we have set the polling interval to two seconds and we have created a minimal dashboard in which we were uh, showing that data temperature and humidity data to the dashboard for visualization purpose if you want to download that project backup then you can download it from here now in this video what we are going to do is we are going to set up the connectivity between Fuchs Ascada and the OPC US server so if you want to uh, display or if you want to create a dashboard for your OPC US server okay if you want to read the data from any OPC US server or any OPC US device in the Fuchs Ascada and if you want to display that in the dashboard then how you can do that okay so we will see that how you can set up the connectivity between Fuchs Ascada and the OPC US server in this video and in the next video we will create a tag for that OPC US server and then after we will create a minimal dashboard and we will see that how you can display the tag value to the uh, dashboard okay so let's see how we can establish the connectivity between Fuchs Ascada and OPC UA server and the OPC UA server I'm going to use in this video is process OPC UA simulation server so here is the process OPC UA simulation server which I have installed in my system so we are going to connect with this process OPC UA simulation server and uh, we will uh, set up the connectivity between Fuchs Ascada and OPC US simulation server. So here is the endpoint URL we have. The server is up and running. Now we will navigate to the Fuchs Ascada editor. Here in the edit project, we will click here. We will go to connection. And here we have to add the device connection for OPC UA. I have to click on this plus icon. Here is my OPC UA device connection, D E V I C E. And the type is OPC UA. The polling interval is one second that is fine we will enable this device okay now we have to provide the endpoint url of our opc ua server or you can say opc ua device if your siemens plc is in the field and your siemens plc is running the opc ua server then you can provide the endpoint url of that siemens plc okay and you can have the data of your siemens plc here in the Fuchs Ascada. Okay, and if you have any other OPC UA server running in your network, in your plant, okay, then you can provide the endpoint URL of that server to read the data from that OPC UA server. So here we have OPC UA simulation server. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy paste this endpoint URL from here to here. Okay, and then after we have to select the security policy and the message mode. So you can click here. And here you can select the security policy and the message mode. And if your OPC UA connectivity requires username and password, then you can specify the username and password here. But I'm going to uh, select the security policy and the message mode is none. Okay, so I am going to click on none here. And if I go to process OPC UA simulation server connection log, then you can see we don't have any connection log. Okay, because no one has connected to this process OPC U simulation server. So let me open these two things parallelly. I'm going to click OK here. You can see we have three connection log instantly. So our Fuchs Ascada is connected with process OPC U simulation server. You can see the green LED is on. So it means that we have successfully set up the connectivity between process OPC U simulation server and this Fuchs Ascada. Okay, now we can browse the tag of this process OPC US simulation server in the Fuchs Ascada and we can create a dashboard. But that we will see in the next video. This video is only about how to set up the connectivity between your process OPC US simulation server or any OPC UA server and Fuchs Ascada. So this is how you can set up the connectivity. Okay, so let me delete the device. We will create again. Okay, so we will have to click on this plus. We will type a name OPC UA device. The type is OPC UA. Again, the polling is uh, one second, two second. That is fine. We will paste the endpoint URL. We will enable this device. We will select the security policy and the message mode is none. And then we will again press OK. And you can see we have again three logs. So we are successfully connected with process OPC UA simulation server. So this is how you have to use Fuchs Ascada to connect with any OPC UA server. It can be your network server or it can be your any device which is having OPC UA capability. Okay, so that is fine. After that, you just have to save the 
project. Now we are going to use the same project to browse the tag of our OPC US server and we will create a minimal dashboard in the next video. So stay tuned for the next video and in that video we are going to browse the OPC US server tag and we will add OPC UA tags to Fuchs Ascara and then we will set up our minimal dashboard. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.